let's say hypothetically we keep the society going right the way it is um and it, you can see a gigantic divide between men and women and let's say AI doesn't take a lot of mid-management jobs right um which is highly unlikely if we keep progressing with the society. So if we're just going to stay at a standstill, the projection would be since women go to college, they make more than men, right? And the blue collar, the blue collar jobs are still going to be highly undervalued in the future. Let's just say that happens, hypothetically. Women don't need men anymore, they think, even though we do all the dirty jobs, right? And we're the ones that keep this society going. We change the oil, clean the sewers out, trash you know you don't see many women doing those type of jobs they like most women there are some it's very rare but most women work at office jobs or in the AC when, when, when you go to college that's what you're pretty much going for right an office job so most, let's say most, this is 60 or 70% women are in college compared to 30% men. That's what the ratio is. So, women have evolved some of their things, right? Um, the, some of their thinking. They haven't evolved past wanting a traditional man, right? where it's okay for a man to make less. They still haven't got past that. They still want a man to make the same or more because they're still into materialism. I'm just generally speaking here. Um, they're, still keep, they're still into keeping up with the Joneses. Women really care about what other people think about them. That's why you see a lot of them dress the same. They do the same stuff. You don't see very many going outside the box. Some, yes. But when you go to the gym, like, they all wear, they're all the same type of clothes. Um, you know, for women, it's like, okay, their 20s are great, especially if they're attractive. 30s, great too. Even in their 40s, whether whether MGTOW men want to admit it or not, or red pill men want to admit it or not, women still have value in their 40s or in their 50s if they keep themselves looking attractive. Now, once you get past that, it's really hard for women to keep up that level. Let's say when they get to 60s, 70s, and 80s, which women live longer than men, mostly. And a lot of women aren't having kids. That's the tra tra trajectory where things are headed. Women aren't having kids like they used to. A woman doesn't have any kids. Now, she could subsidize not having a kid with, like, a, a AI robot or maybe even adopting a kid or... Um, a pet, right? A lot of them use pets. But at some point, when when your friends either pass away or they're not like going out partying every weekend, and you're older and you want to settle down, and you're you know mostly sedentary in your life, when you're 60, 70, 80, maybe even 90, in those years you're going to be alone most of the time, and 
if you don't have kids, especially if you don't have kids, it's going to be even more lonely. Well, I think AI is going to help out in this type of circumstance. But I'm just saying, if we don't progress at all, you women better hope we don't go through a depression. If we go through a depression, and, and a lot of these people on the left who went to college who think that they're better than than people, the average person. Like I was watching this TikTok, and they had these these people look like um, hillbillies, right? And they had a Trump um, poster or like a figure, and they're doing the little dance, have their music, and then you got these these people who are arrogant on the on the left that are like laughing at them because like that's a, they think that's a stereotypical Trump supporter. They think and they look down on these people. They think that they're dumb when these type of people um, have intelligence in different things. Like, a lot of these people who went to college, I mean, they can't work on their own plumbing, their own um, cars. I'm in that category. I don't want to do that. I'm sure I could figure out. I just don't want to. I, but that's my lack of intelligence. And a lot of these people, including females, have this lack of um, humbleness about them. Where they think that they're better than people just because maybe they went to college or they they have they know bigger words or they have the time to Google facts. You know what I mean? And they think that they're better than than, than people. Than the average person that actually does all the dirty work so they ain't gotta do it. I'm peasants, right? That's what they look at them like they're peasants and they're stupid and they're backward. But if we go through a, a, a depression, it's 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 funny that it it'll be crazy how things will flip. If we go through a depression, these people who think that they're better than all these people, they'll be they'll be swarming to these people, right? They'll be like I'll do anything. Women will try to le leverage their sexuality. And the guys will try to work. They'll want to work for them. But a lot of them, honestly, what will happen is they'll end up just like, they'll end up dying because they'll either starve to death or somebody will, t you know, uh, in these big cities, um take their resources and then maybe their life as well um and a lot of these people just think that we're just gonna go on as normal which we we possibly could be and maybe, maybe we don't have a depression and maybe nothing really bad happens um but the thing is either way either way if we go through a massive depression and a lot of people starve to death here in America, or we keep progressing and technology keeps furthering, either way, their place in this world is not the same. And they better adapt because a lot of these people who are like mid management or um, these jobs are, are going to be replaced by uh, artificial intelligence. Um, Especially general AI. When general AI comes out, a lot of people, it's going to be thinking for itself. A lot of people are going to be out of work. And, and when we get to that point, we'll probably have some kind of a, you know, universal base income or something like that. But what I'm saying is a lot of people, especially females who don't need a man for nothing, that's what they think because, you know, we do all the dirty work when the party's over because it eventually will be over women generally aren't going to be like partying like they were in their 20s when they get to be older they get more mature they just that's that lifestyle is just not that appealing anymore um but the problem is is they invested all this time into a career which it might not be there for them 
they might lose their job. That's what I'm saying. They might, a lot of them might lose their jobs and their well being, and a lot of them might end up on the streets and they won't have nowhere to go. That's very possible. I, I don't. I don't, I don't know. I can't predict the future, man. I really can't. I just look at tra 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 trajectories, if I can even talk. You know, it's funny as if, uh, if one of these people on the left, these arrogant people on the left was to hear my videos, they would think I'm so stupid because I can't say certain words at certain times because I'm tongue-tied. But, um... It's just like these people are, they, they live in a bubble. And that's what people have to understand is they live in a bubble. And that bubble at some point is going to pop. A lot of these people don't go through hardships like an average person, average blue worker, blue collar worker. You know, like the, they're the hardest thing for them is maybe when they go to Starbucks and they get their order wrong, like that just ruins their entire day. Everything else is done for them. Some of these people don't even have to go anywhere. They just, they can just stay home with their cats or whatever and do work from home, which is cool. I'm all for that. If, if they can do that, but they don't live in reality. They don't, they live in a different, like a fantasy world that's propped up by people that are blue collar workers, service workers, or anybody. And they don't understand what true hardship is. They don't know what the struggle is. You know, I think that struggle, I think struggle, it gives you, um, it gives you drive to get out of it. Right. Look at look at Michael Jordan, right? You look at him, the greatest basketball player ever, right? And you look at his kids, they could never be as good as him. Why is that? Because he came from probably harder times like he came probably I think he came from like a blue collar background or poverty whatever he wasn't born into these this, these mansions like his kids were so these kids just don't have that all or nothing like they have a backup plan if things don't work out for them they have something behind them you know what I mean? They got money behind them. They can screw around more. Well, Michael Jordan, he couldn't screw around. He had to dedicate a lot of his time to becoming the best basketball player he could be. And and you see a lot of that with these people that who who gained notoriety, fame, wealth, or all that. And then you look at their kids and you wonder why they don't have the talent. It's because they haven't had to go through any hardship. They might have like general talent when it comes to like creative stuff, but they haven't had to work. If you don't, if this doesn't pan out, I'm done. You know. Um, but yeah, these these people who are on the left, who don't live in reality. Who come up with all these like different words like cisgender or whatever, man. They're trying to, what they're trying to do is they want to sound highly intelligent to other people. So they put all these words when, when, when they can just like, they don't need to, but Man, it, it, it's like these, a lot, that's what I'm saying. A lot of these women out here are highly privileged. 
and they don't understand what struggle is they might they might have some struggle from their childhood from you know a lot of things are just handed to women like women don't have to be homeless they can just go to a find a guy a boyfriend and he'll pay for her stuff another thing too what i it's 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 really weird um divorce for for women because it's it's really weird to me that a woman can initiate a divorce, right? And she doesn't want to be with this man anymore. But let's just say he makes decent money, right? Like, he worked hard. And then maybe, maybe, um, she's used to a lift, a, uh, the lifestyle that he has given her, right? And... You know, when it comes to being married and, and, and supporting and all that with the kids, like raising kids is, is a job on its own. I think that it should be rewarded at something. But if a man has 50-50 custody, why, why should he continue to give her, try to, try to give her the lifestyle that she had when she was with them? That's why I don't get it's like, you don't want me. You don't want me, right? But you still want the lifestyle that I can provide. So you want all the benefits without all the struggles with me. Without all the bad stuff. So you don't want me no more. Because maybe I'm a beta male. Or um, I don't listen to you. Now you're not emotionally attracted to me no more. So you want to, or you're bored. So you end up leaving me, but you still want me to provide the lifestyle. I understand the kids need to be taken care of, but if it's 50-50 and you don't want to be with me no more, why the hell should I provide on your side when they're with you? I should be able to provide them when they're with me. You don't want me no more. So you figure it out. Now I get it. If the woman has the kids most of the time. Yeah. She should be compensated. Because the time thing. But it's, if it's 50-50. And that's how it should be. Why is she getting all this extra money? Alimony. Every circumstance is different. I get that. I'm not, I'm not stupid. Like if she was with them for 20 years. Obviously, she's entitled to some of his assets. But going forward, you're a strong, independent woman. Why do you need my assets if you're a strong, independent woman? See, a lot of these people, a lot of these females are delusional. They don't think they need us when they're on welfare, when most of the men are paying the taxes. That's why I say, listen, man, the where we're going, I like Aaron Clary a lot. You want to just be minimalist. You know, this is why I tell my kids, and you can follow if you want. I don't care. But listen, I think it's best if you work on yourself. And this is why I tell my kids work on yourself, um, be independent, have your own place, make yourself interesting to the opposite sex, work on your body, make yourself attractive. But don't be working to pay for these females' luxuries. Why? If you make yourself highly attractive, they'll pay for your luxuries. And they'll pay for their own. They're going to be making all this money. Let them pay the higher taxes. Work minimally. Work a job or whatever minimally. So you don't have to pay high taxes. The more you work, the higher taxes you pay. Just have a minimal lifestyle. And, you know, eventually, eventually, since a lot of guys are, are not really doing anything to better themselves in some type of way, if you make yourself interesting, have good game, 
Make sure that you're you're dressed good, have good posture. Um, you, do you think they're gonna want to go to a different country by themselves, or would they rather go with somebody? Well, you don't even have to feel bad about them, you know, paying for all that for you, because you're providing protection, you're providing entertainment. Let these women that work all this. All, or, or they could just be cat ladies. I mean, we're, we're going into an age where you see these guys on the internet kissing these women's butts. They're at the what what, what men have to understand is women are at their absolute pinnacle, and they'll be coming down because they'll be replaced with robots. We're going into a digital age. All right, most people are spending a lot of their time on the internet. Right here, like I'm on the internet, man. This is a this is a, a, a primitive metaverse. Metaverse isn't what exactly what Facebook is. They're not going to own the metaverse, man. And and a lot of these people who are on the uh, on my side, they they're like, oh, you're gonna be a slave, dude. I'm already a slave, man. What are you talking about? Um, but we're gonna be in digital reality. A lot of people are spending most of their time in digital reality, so. The, the the female image is very easy to replicate, especially going forward with the technology. Um, I, I want you to just download Replica, re download that app, text that AI. Is a hundred percent? No, like is a hundred percent like um like a like a text a woman. No, but what's crazy about the AI is it's always catered to you. You don't have to argue with it. And and it texts you back right away. It texts you every day. And and if you see that's how AI is right now, what do you think it's going to be in like five or ten years? If we keep progressing, um, or instead of going back to the Stone Age, like some people think we're going to go back to the Stone Age, well, it's very possible. But if it keeps progressing, like women are... The image of a woman, the sexuality, the only thing that women are really focusing on for themselves nowadays, predominantly just their sexuality, that can be replaced very easily by a computer. The image. Like, look at, look at pornography, man. So many people use that. It's a digital image. I mean, it's not, it's a real, it's real people, but. It's it's digital now, you know. Um, we're going away from the family structure. If we continue the society, we're going away from it, whether people like it or not. And what I what I tell my kids: if you want to have kids, go to a smaller community. Get away from these big cities. Get away from this this type of lifestyle. It's not good. It's not a good environment to raise kids. And these these people who are on my side say have kids. Like, dude, who are who are you, Elon Musk, or any of you people telling me that I should have kids? I have to raise them. I have to put all the assets. In. It's it's very it's very hard to raise kids nowadays financially. So who the hell are you to tell me? Especially a lot of people have. Um, mental issues and they haven't corrected them and you're telling these people to have um have children i think it's highly responsible irresponsible and i understand what they're trying to say what they want is to to um go forth with their politics that's what they want the next generation they want their politics to push forward which is like dude we're progressing man like this whole race thing, like we should be progressing past it. People keep trying to live in the past. It's like people are like um, ex-girlfriends or boyfriends. They keep on living in the past. It's like, yes, this happened. And, and we shouldn't forget about the tragedies that happened in America or any other country um, like Germany and stuff. We shouldn't forget about that stuff. But it's like we are progressing past that. We don't have slaves anymore um, um, conventionally like in, in uh, before the Civil War. We do have um, nine to five slaves, but um, people aren't, you have the choice to, to be a part of the system or not. 
we're moving past all that. Like for me, I don't focus on race, man. For me, I look at so, like how people carry themselves. I look at how people, um, um, their beliefs and stuff like that. I don't care about somebody's race. I don't, you know, that's how people should be. I'm not, I don't give a damn if, if the, um, population of America is like the, the, by 1940, if it's, um, if white people are the minority, I don't really, I don't care, dude. That doesn't, it doesn't bother me. My kids have some Mexican and Indian in them. Okay. Like I don't care. I would have had half black kids. I would have. Who, who cares, dude? Like, we need to move past the race shit. Like, seriously. All, you know, it's just it's just old. And all this racism stuff, it's like, everything is racist now. This is racist. It's like, w w like what, what do you want? Do you want to take white people and put them, like, and put them through what happened in the 1940s? And w what is that going to do? You're just going to create hostility. That's, that's move past it. Like. You're gonna take. You're gonna tax me higher because some things that people did that matched the same color of skin I had back in like fifty, a hundred years ago. Like that's moved past this. Everybody like it, it. They what they want is us to fight. They want us to be distracted. Why are they doing this? They want the family breakdown and they want a, a racial divide. They want people. To be looking at people suspicious based off race because a lot of people, um, they like, they're still judging people on race. There is racism and I don't think that you can ever really get rid of it and, and not just white people are racist. Anybody can be a racist. I just get, I'm just tired of hearing about like racism. I thought we were past it. You know what I mean? Like, let's just get past it, and then that's that's move forward. And and a lot of these people who are racist, who are older, they're gonna die soon anyway. It's like if we still had slave, like the slave mentality, right? If those people were still alive, we probably would still have that mentality. We want to progress. Let's progress out of this. And the but the elites want us to fight they want us to be distracted why is it why do they want this why do the elites want us distracted because they want us to give up our rights and they're taking away our value um behind our backs and people are being distracted by frivolous things do you think that these people who are elites or they really care about um skin color no they care about power that's all they care about and it's is to control us if we if we if we the people and us poor people in the masses or or whatever woke up and and had our own currency and said fuck your currency what what, what would do with their currency it would be worthless it wouldn't be worth a damn if we if we <clears throat> started our own small communities and things like that, and got off the system, their system and became self-sustaining. There's nothing that they could do. They would be stuck. They would be stuck with these uh, these empty buildings that they're paying property tax on that nobody's occupying, and maybe they're having to pay rent. It would destroy these people if poor people got together and bought some land. And, and, and started their own community, small community, if, if, if everyone started doing this, that is the answer. There's nothing that they can do about it. And they would end up being destroyed. <sighs>